morning! M more. Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress, I love ya! And this is Vash. And Kyra here fixed you! Understood. Madam Kyra fixed me! Just Kyra will do. Impossible, that would be rude! Look, I hate formal titles, don't you, Lamia? Hate them! I understand, Kyra. Alright, now what's your name? Name? Ah, uh, my serial number. It's R66Y. R66Y? Cool! No, that won't do at all. Come on, Vash, let's give him a better name. Better than R66Y? I don't know, that's a huge task for me. Uh, uh, you know, I just... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Really? Robo? You want me to call him Robo? That's not happening. Named after Bloon Bloon Zong, his name is going to be Bloon! I love Robo. A lot of people underestimate uh, Robo. Uh, Bloon! Bloon, that's perfect! Your new name is Bloon, okay? I am Bloom. Data storage complete. Hey, Bloom, why aren't you? Why aren't there any people here? Mm. What? What has happened here? There were many humans and others of my kind in this dome. I think something awful happened here. Mm. It would appear so. But how is it that you survived? We came through a time warp from the year 1000. While exploring Eris Dome, we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chambers is locked and we're out of luck. So he just kicks it? <gasps> That's his first thought as a robot? The power is off. If we go to the factory up north, I can pass through security and activate th this dome's generator. You do that for us? You repaired me. Now it's my turn to help you. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while the power's on. Then Lamy or I will stay, because Vash is our best damage dealer. Who will stay behind? Uh, Lamy. Okay, please be careful, Vash. And the reason for that is because, well, th these two work a lot better together in battle, a and we'll see that. Let's take a look at Bloon now that he has joined our party. He is level 10, so a little bit lower than everybody else. He's got a tin arm, uh, iron helm, which is going to be better than the bronze helm that I had. Titan Vest, which is definitely going to be better than anything I got. Not even close. That Titan Vest is awesome. Can can we move that? Yeah, look at that. Up by 7 from the Iron Suit. Let's go ahead. Put that. That. Yeah, well, that, that kind of evens it out. I don't know if you have to do that, but I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to change my, you know, I set up just a little bit here. I'm going to put the uh, the power glove back onto uh, to Vash and, and give the Rage Band to Bloon. And, uh, yeah, you can keep the Defender. Now, in terms of techs, I don't believe Bloon comes with any. He does! He's got Rocket Punch. He's got Cure Beam, which is awesome. So that's why, you know, I, set, I left Lamia behind, because Bloon can cure as well. Now with this, I think we are ready to go. I think. So let's go out. Yeah, there's nothing else here. No need to use the Intertron. We are still hungry. Did you see him run? I see Bloon run. That was kind of weird. But it's time to drop another save before we head into the factory. I'm saving a lot because I'm kind of scared. This game, this game's known for we're kind of screwing you over if you if you mess up and don't know what you're doing once. So I'm trying to be very cautious with this game. Okay, I believe we are ready to take on the factory. I'm kind of scared though. I don't know why. I remember this place. I, don't know, I remember not liking this place. This is the factory, and apparently Vash knows how to turn on a computer. 
How somebody from 1000 AD knows how to do that is beyond me, but Bloon has overrided the security system, number zero zero, and so we have to fight a new enemy. I can't really say what this is. This is Acid. It's supposed to be like a, a shadow type enemy. Uh, and it's got apparently no HP, but a ton of, ton of defense. We've got 33 experience points and a tech point with 20 gold, which is awesome. So with the security system out of the way, we can just go through here. You cannot run backwards on the uh, on the conveyor belt. So you just need to go straight up here. Uh, you can take on these enemies if you want. In fact, I will. Uh, these are these don't look the same. These aren't buggers, are they? They're debuggers, of course. I don't know if we fought debuggers before, uh, but these are definitely not regular buggers. Go Bloon! Oh, Bloon! Bloon's got an attack on him. He does. He's not your average white mage. That is for sure. Okay. Go, go Bloon! Finish the job. That's enough, isn't it? No. Looks like Flash is gonna have to come in out. Unnecessary critical. Thank you. It's like yeah, 72 experience points, 3 tech points, 150 gold, and a level up for Kyra, so she is now level 12. Uh, it's kind of like when like the Pokemon's got like one or two slivers of health, and then, uh, and then you get a critical hit there. We need to head down this right side first. And we can go down this ladder here, and up through here, you need to go all the way north, all the way east, and in here you can get a mid ether out of the darkness. Let's head down um, this side first. I think it's this side. Hold on. No, this, I'm thinking of a different, different spot. That's that's how you move forward. We need to go this way, down, all the way across the factory floor to go over here and get the Robin Bow, which is an, an upgrade for uh, for Lymia. Now, can't we get her? I, I want to say that we can put her in our party now. Yes, yes, we can. We, yeah, we can. Oh, no. Wow, look at all that stuff. Okay, no, we can't. Um, we'll have to equip that on her later. I thought you could switch party members here, but that would not make sense. So let's go up here, through here, and then what is this? But none of these are buttons, really. Not a single one of those is a button. All right, let's see if we can avoid these guys. Run, 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 and down here, and we did it. No problem. Huh. I'm, I'm debating whether or not I want to go through that gauntlet or not. Hmm, hold on. I have decided I do want to take on uh, the little gauntlet, so let's go ahead and stop one of these uh, one of these robots. And it'll take us up here, and we'll, like I kind of gave away, we're going to fight a gauntlet of enemies. This first one here is a Proto 3, upgrade from a Proto 1, or sorry, Proto 2, as you might expect. It does quite a bit of damage. But with one healer with us, and a massive attacker with us, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, look at that. Look at that attack. We got two awesome attackers. And this guy, he gets a lot of turns in, damn it. Alright. 100 more for the win. Down goes Proto 3. You get 33 experience points and a tech point, 60 gold, and laser spin from Bloon. And a dual tech rocket roll. Now, rocket roll is between Vash and Bloon. And, uh, yeah, you don't. You kind of just. Like I said, it's a gauntlet. You don't have a choice. They run out. Why they run out without letting me heal is beyond me. But now we've got to take on a uh, Proto 3 and two debuggers. They're just going to run out after I've beat those guys. They're not going to let me en enter the menu. I don't understand why they do that. I mean, I understand like from a game mechanics, but I don't understand from a like logic side why I have to do that. And these fights are just getting harder. And out to the other side, and I think that's actually the last battle. Yes, it is. Okay, so I do need to heal up, though. So I'm going to do that, and then we can uh, we can move on. 
Okay, quick heal. Now we want to get back on the conveyor belt and just just avoid the robot. Just kind of stand on it. You can see for some reason it move the conveyor belt moves us faster than it does them for whatever reason. All right, let's. I don't know if you can make it back. You get an ether out of that chest. That's pretty much why we went back on the conveyor belt. We need to try to get back there. Yes, you are able to make it. You don't have to go through the battles again, which is awful. Uh, through here, we can fight more bugs. Awesome. With those bugs out of the way, since they were all bunched up, it makes it very easy for Vash. Uh, let's head up here. I don't think you can go through here. Let's, let's grab ourselves a mid tonic, which is always appreciated. Now we can head through this door here. And I don't like the looks of this at all. Let's try to open these chests. Get a mid ether. And 400 gold. Now let's turn on this computer since those protos don't seem to be attacking me. Crane control mode. 0001. And now we have to fight him. Was I not supposed to? Was I not supposed to move? Well, now we have to fight him. And apparently, I was supposed to fight them. So, <laughs> let's get out of here and go through this other door. Did you miss this door over here? We need to go through it. And here we find two more proto enemies to take on. Buggers have dropped, and now we have to take these guys on. And in these treasure chests over here, we get a shelter and an ether, both of which are greatly appreciated. Let's go out this side over here. Use the crane after the beep. All right. I don't know if I remember the combinations. They weren't that tough, though. Right. Triangle, circle. All right, that clears a barrel out of my way. I don't know if there's a specific order to do them, but I'm just going to do them in the order that they told me. No! The barrel's going to have to fight things! It's through the gauntlet. Okay, yeah, let's do this again. After the beep, it was XX, wasn't it? X, X. Yeah, sweet! So, I remembered the combinations. Hooray! I remembered four things. Seriously, hurry up and grab the barrel. Get it out of my way! I do not like your aura barrels. If this was like an old school shooting game, like those things would just explode all over the place. That is what those barrels look like. They look like oil barrels, to be honest with you. Well, that wasn't too tough. Got the, the, the giant oil cans out of our way. So, really? You guys respond? Okay, let's head back the way that we came back to the factory floor. Let's go down this new ladder over here. I like that ladder. It is spiffy. And we can head through this door. This leads me to a treasure chest with another bolt sword. Awesome. Last offense. Translation. Okay. It goes clockwise from the top. Codenamed Zabi. That's yes. Triangle circle X square. Now what happens if I do You're just gonna do the same thing for me? I held L yeah. L and R and then did that. But that did nothing for me. Yeah, we'll get the same information out of it. Okay. Hold on. Now we pretty much need to go the back the way that we came. We need to... let's see, how do I get down from here? Head back this way. Yeah, we gotta take on these... Do I have to take on the bugs? I swear there was another way out of here. Down. I want to go down. No, apparently there isn't a way down from here, so we're gonna have to go back to the front of the factory. We need to go back pretty much to the entrance after I take on these bugs. Wait, maybe there is a shortcut. I, I, I have a feeling that I'm missing a lot of shortcuts for backtracking in this game lately. Um, maybe there's one east. Yeah, there's a way east of here. Yeah, there we go. That's why we got rid of one of the tin cans. 
See, I knew I was missing shortcuts. Let's head back up the way we came. That way we don't have to go through any more battles. But we have to go over to the other side here, so we do have to fight these debuggers again. But what's a, what awaits us down in the lab over here? We'll have to wait to find out next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by Vash, Bloon, and Kyra. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.